Hello everyone and welcome to this video series. Today we are going to be looking at uh, physics practicals and uh, we have a couple of um, experiments that we are going to go through. So the first experiment is a station and as I always say in my videos, practicals is very very easy and it's all about following instructions. So if you are able to read the instructions, you can um, follow the, the, the triple R policy which is you read, you read and you read. Meaning that if you are in front of um, an experiment and you're not getting the idea, so always make sure to read over and over. So this experiment, the first one that we're going to look at is um, station one and we are to measure uh, the density of an irregular um, object. Now, the problem might be that an experiment might come and you know how to, you know the experiment, but the problem is the way in which you're going to uh, uh, present it. So if you're having a problem, then no worries because we're going to handle that in this video. So the experiment is to measure the density of an irregular object. And um, in any experiment, you have to follow like steps. You know, the first thing you need to come up with, like your apparatus, the, thing that's, the things that you need in the experiment, you have to come up with a diagram or a setup, the method in which you use in carrying out the experiment, the observations like the things that you actually saw while carrying out the experiment the inference which is like one of the most important aspects in any experiment and finally calculations and conclusion so uh, without much to do let's get into this experiment properly now we have been asked to, cal to calculate the density of an irregular object now we know density is mass of the unit volume of a substance it means that obviously we'll be calculating a mass and the volume in this case to get your mouse the, your mass you need a scale balance to just uh, measure or tie your mouse on a on a rope or a string and you measure using a, a spring balance now the problem now is to get the volume now based on the 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 equipment or the instruments that are going to give to you to carry maybe to get your volume you're going to know what to use. In this case, you've been given a um, measuring cylinder, a rope, and obviously the irregular object. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to use a liquid. Let's say you have to use water. So you put water to a certain level. As we can see, the first level is V1 here, this level here. So you fill water to uh, a certain level. You mark it as V1. Now you drop in your irregular uh, object gently into um, the measuring cylinder. Now the, the, the irregular object is going to display water to a particular volume, let's say V2. Now after doing that and all of that will be done in your diagram and remember you're actually carrying out this experiment. So after doing that you're going to come up with this diagram as shown um, on this um, page. Now to describe your method the first thing you need to do or to say here is that the apparatus are arranged as shown above. The mass M, MS of the stone is measured using a spring balance. The stone is carefully dropped inside a measuring cylinder and uh, the initial and final volumes are noted. I think I've already explained this above. And now the observation is that you're going to, obviously, um, you're going to see a, a, a display of water or the volume in the measuring cylinder is going to change. Now that will be the volume occupied by your irregular um, solid. So you have to take your observations. The first thing you have to measure is the mass of the stone. And the mass of the stone, in this case, we're assuming that we use a stone of, let's say, 30 grams. Now take note that this experiment might come and you're given different masses. So it will be very, very bad for you to copy directly from someone. It's better to always follow the, the procedure like this. So you have to measure your mass. We're assuming in this case that the mass is 30 grams and the initial volume means the volume that we had in our cylinder was 77 uh, centimeters cube. And the final volume after the solid mass has been dropped inside is um, 85 centimeters cube. So our inference here is simply the formula in this case. And um, the formula for density of a solid S should be the mass of the solid all over the volume of that solid. Now, for our calculation, we simply need to measure the volume. 
and to get the volume of our solid we simply take the final volume minus the initial volume so we're going to have um 85 minus 77 which is going to give us 8 centimeters cube so that is the volume of our irregular um object now we already measured the volume from above here initially and it gave us um, 30 grams so we simply put it in a calculator we punch the value and we will assume we have something like 3.8 grams per centimeter cube now we should take a very careful note of the units now to conclude here we say the density of the stone in this case was is 3.8 grams per centimeter cube remember you can change it to uh, uh kilogram per meter cube so here the precautions is that um the stone was gently placed in, into the water with the help of a string to prevent water from splashing so obviously this is um a precaution because if some water is lost you're not going to get the accurate volume of um the stone and your results are going to be faulty so um that is it for this experiment and uh, take note that even though this is a station actually this can come as a mainstream and the difference just lie in the, the number of times you're going to repeat the same process and you might be asked to or you will need to draw plot a, a sketch or plot um, a graph where you'll be asked some other questions like the properties you look for the slope of that gradient do some other calculations so in our next experiment we are going to actually see some of these